I went for a visit to Prague and in this video I will show you 50 things to do when you're in Prague. This is Wenceslas Square, Prague's main square with shops, hotels, restaurants and clubs. And in the middle you see a Sir Wenceslas, the patron saint of Bohemian. When you look up at the buildings, most date from the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries. In the middle of the square at the St. Wenceslas Square is the statue of Sir Wenceslas, patron saint of the Bohemian. St. Wenceslas was a Czech dude who after his murder became a symbol of Czech statehood and a Catholic saint. Majestically at Wenceslas Square there is the National Museum. It's a neo-renaissance building and it also has its own metro station. The National Museum was built in the late 1880s. It's the largest museum in the Czech Republic. I was talking about Christmas market, that Prague would be cool to have Christmas market. And what do we have here? A Christmas market! This is the original Ternaldic. Oh, it's nice and warm. Delnik is a kind of spit cake, a sweet pastry made from rolled dough that is wrapped around a stick then grilled and topped with sugar and walnut mix. Renaldic. A variation of the Delny with an ice cream filling was popularized by Prague cafes. So here we have some delicious Trudelnik with blueberry and some yogurt and whipped cream. My friend is going to eat this and is really going to enjoy it. So Trudelnik. Behind me is the church of St. Gell and it's from around 1265. The church is named after St. Havel, originally Gallen, an Irish habit, and the founder of the famous St. Gell monastery in Switzerland. This is Havelska, that's the name of the street. Havelski Market is one of the oldest markets in Prague. Kostna Staremesto. We're now in the old town of Prague. Stare Mesto, the old town, is the historic heart of medieval Prague. Oh, delicious! Prague chocolate. Tic tac, tic tac. Stare met Kinyamesti, the old town square, the heart and soul of the city of Prague. We're here at the old town square. The must be is astronomical club. Hi. Hello. Hello. What's your name? <laughs> what are you saying? What are you doing? I'm uh, telling about astronomical clock. Your high TikTok? No, astronomical clock. Clock? Yeah, the clock. This is the clock. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the. The astronomical clock. Ah, why? <laughs> the astronomical clock is attached to the old town hall. The clock was first installed in 1410, making it the third oldest astronomical clock in the world and the oldest clock still in operation. The clock not only tells the time, but also displays the movements of the sun and moon through the signs of the zodiac. It's two minutes before two, and as you can see, it's very crowded here. Everybody's waiting for the clock to hit. <laughs> a must see is the church of our lady before dinner this historic church is among the most beautiful gothic buildings in prague the construction started in 1350 and was finished in 1511 it looks exactly as a castle from Walt disney and uh, these two towers they're 80 meters high here you see the famous statue of Jan Hus. It was a reformer and he was burnt at the stake in 1415. It shows a group of victorious Hussite warriors and a group of Protestants forced into exile. 200 years after his death, a young mother symbolizing national rebirth, Jan Hus, the man who gave up his life rather than his belief. The house at the stone bell with on that corner, you see the bell. A 13th century Gothic house where various noblemen used to live. The National Gallery of Prague. At the Goldskinski Palace that was built in 1765 for the family Golds and in 1768 it was sold to the family Kinski. This 
is the St. Nicholas Cathedral. It was built between 1732 and 1737, dedicated to St. Nicholas. The church is now a popular venue for live concerts and events. Rudolfinum is the home of the Czech Philharmonic Orchestra. The Rudolfinum is built in Neo-Renaissance style and opened in 1885. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Here is the Carl's Bridge. The view is amazing here. I wanted to go to that bridge from day one, and here we are. The Carl's Bridge is the famous bridge over the Vltava River. It connects the old town with Malastrana district. Charles Bridge with tower at the side of the old town. This Gothic tower was built in 1357 during the rule of Emperor Charles IV. It was designed by the architect Peter Parler. The old town bridge tower served as a prison. The bridge's most distinguishing feature is its gallery of 30 statues. The religious figures were placed between 1683 and 1714. The statues are predominantly in Baroque style. Today, all the statues are replicas with the original served in the city's museums. This is the statue of Johannes of Nepomuk. In 1393, St. John was arrested by King Wenceslas IV. The suspicious king killed St. John after he refused to reveal the confessions of the queen. Then they threw him over the bridge into the Vltava River. If you touch this one, it will bring good luck and you'll come back to Prague again. Another plague shows a picture of a knight and a dog. Many people pet or rub this dog, hoping for a long-lasting, loyal relationship. The Malastrana Bridge Tower serves as the entrance to Malastrana from the Charles Bridge. Did you know that Prague is also famous for its nightlife? Well, we are going to this club here. We are going to dance there. We're going to see something of Prague's nightlife. This is metro station in Malestranska. We are going to the palace. So we are going to the left, Praski Hrad. It's a beautiful day and the sun is shining. It is so beautiful, the sky is blue, the sun, because the last days it was a bit gray with the rain. Today we have a really beautiful day. We are going up. It's still a bit cold, like winter-ish. I love it, like a winter cold day with sun. A beautiful castle in front of us. We have to walk a little bit upwards. It was about 11 minutes walk up some stairs. Yeah, because castles have to be high on the hill. So here we go. Prague Castle is a castle complex which contains a large collection of buildings including churches, palaces and gardens. Prague Castle is the largest ancient castle in the world. Prague Castle complex is a fascinating place for a leisurely walk. We are leaving beautiful sight of Prague city. And now we're going to walk upstairs again to other places here.
We arrived at this majestic St. Vitus Cathedral. Located within Prague Castle, St. Vitus Cathedral is the largest and most important church in the country. It contains the tombs of many Bohemian kings and holy Roman emperors. Coronations of Czech kings and queens also took place here. The cathedral is a prominent example of Gothic architecture and is under the ownership of the Czech government. Here's the St. George Chapel. It's the best preserved Romanesque church in Prague, founded in 920. We are standing in front of the palace now. The old royal palace is part of the Prague Castle. This is the first palace yard. We missed the change of the guard, it was be at 12. It should happen here. A ceremonial changing of the guard, including a fanfare and a flag ceremony, happens daily at 12 noon in the first courtyard of the castle. Sentries at the gates of the medieval castle change on the hour from 7 to 8 in the summer season and from 7 to 6 in the winter season. We were searching for the golden lane and we missed, we passed it twice. We went up to the palace, then we went down and now we're up again because there's a secret stair that goes to the golden lane, but you have to know it. Here's the secret stair. This goes to the golden lane. Now I have ticket and it was 250 kron. That's 10 euro. This is the Golden Lane because of the goldsmiths that used to work here. This short narrow street is one of the most picturesque in Prague. The brightly painted houses were built in the late 1500s for King Rudolf II's castle guards. And now I'm standing in front of house number 22. This is the house where Franz Kafka used to live. Writer Franz Kafka used to live here in 1916 and 1917. Because people were a bit small, so yeah, I can adjust a bit. People, like Dutch people, point. <laughs> <laughs> this is house number 40, the house of the Prague fortune teller that used to live here before the First World War. So this was the little tour to the Golden Lake. I hope you enjoyed it. It's time to have a goulash soup. To eat some delicious chicken goulash. It smells very good. And also some bread with garlic. So we are hungry. We are looking forward to eat this chicken dish. Mm. It's so warming. It feels like it's warm. So hard. Delicious. Let's see what my foodie expert friend says about the goulash. It is so delicious. I think this is the best goulash soup ever. Because mm. how many days were you already waiting for the goulash soup? For all my life? Hmm. Oh, all your life? No. You waited all your life for gula soup? Yes. And this is it? Mm -hmm. Cool. See? So my friend is a real foodie. So trust me, if she says food is good, it is good. So you should come here and have some gula soup. The gula soup was so good. In the meanwhile, my friend had soup. Gula soup. So now you know. And we're not finished because now we're going to the second round. And that is... This is my birthday cake. It's with hazelnuts, walnut. It has layers uh, with mascarpone. And I'm gonna say, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I'm gonna cut the cake, because uh, we're gonna eat it together. There we go. And this is for my friend, you can taste it. Malastrana is a district of Prague 
and one of its most historic neighborhoods. Founded in 1257, Malastrana is built on the slopes below the castle hill. Here's the water wheel of the rock. The Grand Priory Mill is a huge wooden wheel of the 15th century. We are walking to the John Lennon Wall. Beautiful graffiti with face or the eyes of John Lennon. The Lennon Wall graffiti was created after the Beatles member John Lennon was murdered in 1980. A symbol of freedom, love and peace. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> we are going up now to the Petra Hill, to the tower that looks like the Eiffel Tower. We are going with the cable tramway. You arrived right now? Oh, I can't up it in my ear. Let me go higher, like pop, pop. I can't hear that much, but we are way higher. And this is Petrin Station. The roulette la. That's where we go. Petrin Park. It's a bit of a mysterious walk. Mysterious. The Petrin Lookout Tower is an imitation of the Eiffel Tower, built for the Jubilee Exhibition of 1891. I bought a ticket for 150 kron. The elevator is broken. We have to take the stairs. I'll be honest with you, I am afraid of heights. I really am. So I'm uh, walking the stairs now. But as you can see, the walls are blinded. So you cannot see outside. But look, here's the first entrance. Now you can see a little bit outside. I'm still feeling good. Just walking the stairs. It's a bit windy, cold. I thought this is the first layer and then we had two more layers to go but then I'm like where's the entrance and then they say this is it this is it we are here the highest point of this tower okay we'll take it like that We are on our way to the boat because we're going to make a boat cruise. It's in a glass boat. It's a dinner cruise, dinner buffet with a free Prosecco, live music. You can see the surroundings through the glass because it's a glass boat. We are both very excited to experience this boat cruise. This is the voucher for the boat. We're going to exchange it for a ticket. You can go with this voucher to the boat. Mm. It's at pier number two, mm. right behind you. It will be open in five minutes or something. Thank you. You're welcome. Pier 2, and it opens in five minutes. Let's go. We are going to sit in the middle so that we can see everything from the left to the right and the top all through the glass. We are going inside. I love it, but my friend is so excited now. He's like, what? What? Because she thought we would be sitting in the middle, but now we are sitting at the window. So it's even better. So she's like, I didn't expect this. I love it how, uh, I love her reaction. Happy birthday. Here we go. We left, as you hear. You hear the live music now, so it's going to be fun. I told you before we had the middle tables, but uh, for some reason we are here at the room now. So we're very surprised. My friend especially was very surprised and happy because we got an upgrade. So it's just given to us and we are going to celebrate. <laughs>
lastig was om jou gewoon hier te houden. Jij moest elke keer weer naar boven, je wilt dessert, je wilt... The Czech Republic is famous for its beer and we are here at Fat Cat. We're going to do some beer tasting. We want to taste some real Czech beer. Bitter 12, it's traditional Czech. Yes. It's the, the traditional Czech is the Pilsner actually, but we have the different brewer, brewery, but it's the very same beer. Bitter 12. But all these seven beers are Czech, made uh -oh. in Czech as well. Yes. Yeah, and but would, your yeah. friend said she want to try the traditional check, which is the Bitter 12. Okay, and what would you recommend? Bitter 12 as well. Oh, you or would... if you like something sweet, cherry beer is very good. Okay. It's very light. Yes, but it's all Czech. So what, make, Czech. what makes Czech beer so popular? Oh, I'm not sure. They just made it good. <laughs> you... <laughs> the Pilsner is very good. But... Um, <laughs> The hops, I guess, in Czech are very, very famous, very good. Good. Um, but are they brewed? Are they brewed in uh, Prague? No. Not none. Even the best beer is not even made in Prague. Only in Czech. Excuse me. In different city. Not, not in Prague. Czech. In oh, Czech, in but not Prague. Ah, ah. Okay, so there's no brew. Brewed Brewed in Prague. This one no, in this yes. Ah, okay, so we're just gonna check. Okay, we'll check it out. <laughs> These are our beers. This is Czech beer. This is a beer at Fat Cat. Fat Cat beer. <laughs> huh? Where, where, where? The beer. Oh, hey! <laughs> it's lekker. Hello yeah. everybody, it's a new day. Hello there, today we are going to sleep in our new location. It's the Boat Hotel Matilda and that's over there. And we have a beautiful view on the dancing house. Because it looks like it's dancing. Now we're going to the boat. Let's follow. I'm now going to take the stairs and you'll see me at Boat Hotel Matilda. So we arrived now at the hotel and we did the reception and there we have to go check in and after that we are going to sleep at the boat hotel. So let's check in first. I can give you a better room, no extra charge. Oh, yes, so, no yes, space, so yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, yeah, did you say it? Yeah. Okay, so we got a present. And uh, what do you say? We had a standard room. What do you get now? You book the standard, I give you executive. <laughs> bigger than the standard. Ooh, we get executive room. So I told you first we're going on that boat. Oh, but we are staying here. It's probably a bit bigger. It's so exciting. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Is it possible later if you still just make a film of an empty room there? Just to show the standard room, how it looks? Uh, Only film? No, we are not full, but what kind of room? It, it doesn't matter? Or? No, no. The... No. Oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> it's not problem, it's just you have to tell me which, which room you want to, you want to see. You are, what is your name? My name is Camille. Camille, Camille, Camille you are the best. All right, ladies. Room 21. <laughs> you go downstairs here, <laughs> over there downstairs, yeah. and your room is four door on the riverside. Okay? <laughs> the river view. Yeah, you are. Hey, we have to box, huh? Let's do it. Let's, Let's box. box. Let's box, okay. huh? Box, huh? Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. All right, yes. thank you. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> oh, he's bringing our... 
my luggage. Oh my god, what a surface. Oh, oh my god, I cannot tell you. We are so extremely happy now. They're bringing our suitcase downstairs. We are going to show the room. Executive room with view on the water. It's amazing. We're going downstairs. The boat. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Now we're going to our room. And this is what we were supposed to go to, and I will show you that's on that boat. So we will show you the room of the standard room. Let's go. tomato cream soup and mussels we also have starter some italian bread because this is an italian restaurant the menu looked so good we wanted to try everything so we had to choose something so this is what i chose with delicious mussels and yeah, I love mussels as Zeeuwse Zealand, Zeeuwse Mosselen we're gonna enjoy this Italian mussels <laughs> I'm standing now at the dancing house this is named after Fred Astaire Ginger Rogers 
famous dancing couple because it looks like the building is dancing. Dancing houses built between 1992 and 1996. It's set on a property of great historical significance. The site was the location of a house destroyed by the US bombing of Prague in 1945. A good evening. Another way to explore Prague is by walking. We are walking around Novo Mesto now, the newer town in Prague, a bit at the area of our boat hotel. You see a lot around you when you're walking and exploring. We'll show you all the nice things we see while we're walking. Salmon, Salmon L. Jackson, Tuna, Tuna Turner, Bart, Shrimpson, Tulpo, Fiction, Al, Pa Chicken, Duck, Norris, Jurassic Park, Trilly, Tempe. Oh my God! Right behind me is the municipal house. The municipal house is Prague's most prominent Art Nouveau building. It is built between 1905 and 1912. The exterior is lavishly decorated with stucco and allegorical art. We were looking for the head of Kafka. It's a little bit hidden, so you have to know where it is. But now we found the head of Kafka. And nu zit hij vast. He doesn't move now, but probably he is moving during the day. We are back at the boat now. This will be our last night in Prague and we are going to sleep. So good night and see you tomorrow. Good morning. This is our last day in Prague. We went to the head of Kafka and it's moving every hour. The first 15 minutes of that hour, the head is moving. We're early now, but if you like shopping, we are in Lucerna Palace Passage. Here you see Sir Wenceslas on his horse, but the horse is upside down. The horse is dead. This sculpture of David Czerny is a mocking reference to the more famous statue on Wenceslas Square. We're here at Hotel U Prince and we want to have breakfast on the roof because that's a very nice spot also to have pictures with the view on the old town. We're here now standing on this famous Instagram spot on the rooftop at U Prince. It's time to have breakfast now at U Prince. We are on the rooftop. This is our sandwich. This is our breakfast. For the few, you should definitely go. But yeah, we had breakfast, so the food, to be honest, I don't know. The taste of the food, well, if you want to experience it, just do it. But okay, if you want to enjoy the view, you still have to order something. I would recommend that you make reservations in high season. Okay, that was it for today. We are going to the Jewish neighborhood of Prague, Josefov. This is the statue of Franz Kafka in Dusny Street, where he's sitting on the shoulders of a headless man. Walking through the night streets of Prague, which appears in Franz Kafka's early short story, Description of a Struggle. This area is the home of the Jewish Museum, which consists of four historical synagogues, the old Jewish cemetery, the ceremonial hall, and the Robert Godwin Gallery. Standing in front of the Spanish synagogue. It's the most recent synagogue built in 1868. I only wanted to visit the cemetery, but you have to buy a ticket, so you cannot just separately go to the cemetery. So I bought a whole ticket. This was 400 tech crown, so like 17 euros. Then you can visit a different kind of synagogue. Here is different places. So this is the graveyard. You're gonna visit and you can go inside the synagogue, except for the old new synagogue. Built around 1270, it's the oldest synagogue in Europe and one of the earliest Gothic buildings in Prague. It is not a museum. It is still used for religious services and requires a separate ticket or additional fee. We will walk around here in the Jewish neighborhood and let's go to the graveyard. The ceremonial hall is built in the early 1900s in neo-Romanesque style. It's the Pinkasova Synagogue. Now, Mer, see you later. Eh? Oh, let's go inside. The Pinka Synagogue, built in 1535, now serves as a memorial of the Jewish Czechoslovak victims of the Nazis. The names of the 77,297 who did not return are inscribed on the synagogue walls. Now I'm here at the old Jewish cemetery. You can see there are layers. It's on a hill because this was the only place where the Jews 
were allowed to bury dead people. It's like stacked on each other. It lay on layer on layer. 100,000 Jewish people buried here. Founded in 1478 for over 300 years, it was the only burial ground permitted to Jews. I think this graveyard is very impressive. It's quiet. Time is ticking, our day is coming to an end. Our visit to Prague too is coming to an end. We are going to eat now before we leave. We're going to eat Japanese, well, it looks more Chinese. But we're going to do some shared dining. We're gonna choose the different dishes. Noodles, fries. Rice! Ah! Beef! Beef, beef! Food is very good. And the children are eating too, behind us. <laughs> the children. <laughs> okay, this is the, the Chinese wine. Yes. Uh, how do you say ching ching? Prost? 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 Uh, uh, cheers. cheers? In Chinese? Kampe? Okay. In Chinese? Yes, Chinese kampe. Oh, kampe. 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 We're at Prague train station now. We have 10 minutes. This is the end of our trip in Prague. I hope you enjoyed watching and seeing the highlights. If you have any comments, leave your comments below. Hope to see you on my next trip. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.